Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So today I have had probably one of the last deliveries that I have got coming as far as like things I've got for Christmas that I know about. So obviously um, it's not just the fact that these have been bought for Christmas, it's the fact that it's a company that I've always bought from and I thought I would give them a mention because I don't really talk too much about this company. So I decided to order some clothes from Spiral Direct. Now I've been buying from Spiral Direct for a very long time and um, some things have been a bit of a hit and miss as far as um, sizing goes and um, materials, which I have mentioned before in previous videos. Um, certain, certain clothing have been absolutely amazing and I still have them in my drawer till this day. And I do still wear them. Um, the only thing I had uh, issues with was I did buy like, it was like a two in one top and it was like a red vest top, then like a black off the shoulder cutout kind of day of the dead top, which is absolutely lovely. But the fitting on it is absolutely crazy. Why is my husband coming in here? Oh, it's a coffee. Look at that for service. You can speak. <laughs> and today we've got the penguin cup so like i've said guys i've ordered from spiral direct for a while um as i have with emp uh, unfortunately with emp again it goes off their sizes and my husband's had a few issues with emp so he's a little bit put off by buying from them again um, and some of the clothes in Spiral Direct my husband actually really likes. So maybe that gives me a bit of an idea what to get him for his birthday after Christmas. So I went ahead and went in the sales section. I always go in the sales section first because if I can buy more for my money, then why not? Because if you've got one top that's £45 and you can buy four tops for £45, just... I'd rather get the four tops, so... <laughs> Do you get it? The four tops. <laughs> no, probably not. Right, guys, so it came today, and um, this is the bag that it came in. Pretty much the same as your standard bags. Um, I have opened it, but I haven't took anything out. I just opened it just to, to make sure that there was the items that was in there. And they've actually sent me another one of their catalogues. I actually do have one already, which is here. They send me one out all the time. Um, I tend to pass, just pass it by. I don't really want to like look in it, just just for the simple fact that I will buy from it. But um, yeah, there is some really nice stuff in here. I've they do a lot of band merch in here and such things as um, Sons of Anarchy, Vikings, um, Harry Potter, um, Jack Skeleton. They have like skeleton wolves, dragons. A lot of it is skull t-shirts. I will admit. They even do like plimsolls. Um, women have like the ripped leggings, ripped jeans, the leggings with the skirt. I've kind of had a pair of these. I don't know what happened to them. And this top here, just give you an example, not this actual top, but this is the kind of design of top that I normally buy. And what happens when you wash it way too much, the elastic starts to come through. And I've, it hasn't done it on my other top for some reason, but the one top that I got was um, a Gothic Angel. And... I've had to cut all the elastic off because I do love the top. I just, I can't wear it with all these tazzly, it's, it's literally like a tazzles of elastic. So that is that. They do do cups and bedding and cushions and hats in here. I do have a Spiral Direct beanie, which I have upstairs. I have bought, bought bags in the past from there. I've even bought sack clothes in here in the past. It is brilliant. Um, and here is like your band most. Do Assassin's Creed, five things. Five finger death punch. I have bought um that kind of mesh from there. And the top that I, I was on about just was this top here, but not in this. It was a day of the dead design, but that was the top. Absolutely lovely, but this part of the top was just really, really short. Um and I don't really like my tops to come too short. I like them to kind of hang over like my hips. So with that said. I grabbed three items. Um, I'm not too sure what the prices are because they never put in. I know, I know one of the items was $9.99. I think the other was $6.99 and the other was something like um, $7.99. They were all under £10 each, each one. So first item I couldn't resist. 
And as you can see, it's an American Horror Story. We all love a bit of American Horror Story. So um, that's my first item that I've got there. And then my second item, which I, I just completely do not remember now. And then my third, oh, is there something else in here? Oh, they've put me two. They've put me two address slips in. Maybe one for return, one's for the something else. So that's that, guys. And then this is the third item. So let's just put in. As I'm opening it, guys, the bags do have like pretty much like Killstar and what have you. And um, they do have the Spiral Direct logo on there. And it is a UK-based company. Um, it's in London actually. It says www.spiral.uk and it's um, London 1990. So obviously that must be from when they started doing the clothing, which is, sounds about right to me. Okay, so I'm going to keep all the bags just in case. I'm not one for sending items back, guys, I will admit. I'm probably the world's worst. But if I really, really need to send it back, for any reason like there's a big hole in it and I ain't going to just keep it I will send it back I will get my money back or I'll exchange it so here we go this is the first item that I got and um it's like this rose design and like as you can see I absolutely love this um arm cuff is it back do they call it back wing or so I do love I've got a lot of these tops that are quite wide at the wrist at the bottom of the top it is very crazy, guys, but the material is quite giving this. It is quite stretchy, as you can see. Um, I got an extra large, and the only reason I got an extra large, again, I'm not too sure, like, about this whole size sizing things for different items and different materials. So, to be safe, I always get an XL or a 16. If I was a size 10, I probably wouldn't get a size 16. I'd probably get a size 14. But the fact that I'm a size 14, probably soon i'll be a size 12 and maybe i'll only need a size 14 but i just think size 16 is a safe kind of bet so it has like it's like um how do you describe how do you describe this it's like the netting it's quite pretty actually and then the design just goes and ties at the bottom like so i don't know what this is like until i try it on i'll do a trying at the end i'll just wear my leggings or my tights well, I'll wear my leggings with this because it was too short for my tights. And I'm sure that this one was round about £6. It was really affordable and that's the only reason that I grabbed these. I did want a lot more, guys, I will admit. A hell of a lot more. Um, but I, I really can't justify paying £35 for a pair of jammers. I don't know if anybody else does. I personally don't. Um, I do like the jammers in there. I just don't like the prices. So this one... Um, I don't remember it again. So it's a pretty much the same material, guys. I'm, I'm liking the fact that these are quite long. So this is my second top. Again, with this like back wing design. This one's a little bit more um, defined in the shape. It's Again, it's very, very stretchy. The material looks quite see-through. I will say, like you can see there. No, it's not too bad it's not very thick like the necessary evil when i got that that top was amazing both of them um but this one's not as as thick i mean i can actually see through that material very easily um hopefully you can't really see anything through it because you've got this design so this is just basically like it's just a long top that hangs really really nicely it looks very nice in the picture i'll try and see if i can find them in the book so this was this one, guys. I'm sure this was about $7.99. I may be completely wrong and be telling you all the wrong prices. Um, but I'm just having a guess. I do know that this next one was $9.99. I do remember that. Now, I'm not one for um, buying, like, I do buy a lot of dresses, but I don't go out enough to wear these dresses. And I was going to just try and stick to, like, trousers and tops that I can wear every day rather than a dress because I probably wouldn't go out in a dress on of a daytime. Um, I used to. I mean, when I used to work in admin, I always used to wear, like, skirts and dresses. But um, now I don't so much. So this is my very first. I'm, if you wonder what I'm doing, guys, I'm just inspecting it because <laughs> I like to inspect everything. Now, from what I can see, it, I don't know if it's just my eyes. It looks very dirty on the collar like there's like little speckles of dirt but it is brand new 
maybe it's just because it's been in the warehouse but as you can see you've got the american horror official label on it and then you've got it again so i got this in an excel as well guys so this is a dress and it says bitch craft i've never ever worn one of these dresses i know i see a lot of people wearing them like <coughs> excuse me simply um spooky kirsty i know she wears a lot of collared um tops i think Paige does as well from backbones um and i'm not sure if i've seen anybody else wear them but i thought i'd give it a go it does need ironing it's very very crispy guys so what i if it doesn't feel very nice it feels really like cardboardy so what i may do is give this a wash in some softener and put more softener around the collar part and then just give it a good iron but again it's that same kind of material they all seem to have the same material but completely different to the material of top that i've got upstairs that's quite a thick material but as you can see it's got the pentagram design and it's the coven guys so as you can see there it will say the american horror story coven did you watch coven what did you think i actually liked it to be honest with you i didn't mind it so much i didn't realize that this was american horror story until like now and i was like oh okay that's fine i mean i like the program well i liked it i'm not so overly keen on it at the minute i may try and watch it again and as you can see it's like a swing dress so it's like it's it's like tapered in a sense where it comes in at the waist and then it flows out like a skater dress it is long sleeve and again you've got this cuff design i don't it might be just my eyes guys that it might because the light is so bright it just looks as if it just looks dirty but it, it is probably just my eyes i ain't got my glasses on um but they're like double cuffs so they're quite big cuffs i mean i don't normally like long sleeve tops and dresses um because you know I, i'd like sometimes to have my tattoos out but for something like this it, it wouldn't look right with no sleeves i think it'd look really ridiculous now i'm planning on wearing this with like some black tights and my new shoes that i've just bought from ebay um it's just a cheap version of gothic shoes the only reason i've got them for now is because i just can't justify the prices of um killstar at this present moment and i have a million pairs of shoes that i could wear like gothic shoes so and boots and so forth i mean these would probably look nice in my doc martin shoes as well they have that kind of feel like a schoolgirl churchy kind of feel so that was 9.99 guys i have seen this being sold on other sites on um facebook i can't quite remember the name let me see if i can quickly find it because they do have like a section which is sales section for women and then they have like a sales section for men and obviously I've, I've grabbed these from the sales section so they should be easy enough for me to find um uh, there is oh there's my top i've just found it so this top here is the one that i bought and it's just it's just not big enough for me i just like it a bit more like longer it was very very short and here's the other one but in that design that i told you the crying angel i've got her as well so sales section where are you there's a lot of clothing in here that i am waiting to buy but it will be waiting to buy right okay so the bottom one here is the one that i showed you which is um bleeding souls it's actually 9.99 so i was wrong on the price in fact no it was it was cheaper than that because i used like a voucher because it was i don't know i got a voucher to you so it actually was cheaper than that and then i got the bitch craft as you can see there it says 10.99 but i did pay 9.99 and then my third top um which I, I don't seem to i don't know where i found the third top because i can't see it on here like really can't see it on here i'm sure that that one was six pound i don't think it's in the book now but it was six pound because i thought for that it's not that bad i do remember paying six pound for one of these items um but i can't seem to find it guys at all 
if I was you, if you did want to have a look, you, they do show these all online. So you can like just go on Spiral Direct and have a look what's in this catalogue for yourself. Or you can um, email them and they will send you out the actual catalogue so you can have a look. I think it's brilliant. I mean, I've, I've picked out and marked pages in here of everything I'm going to get. All right, guys. So I'm going to go and do a try on. So I'll be back very soon and um, tell you what I think. All right, guys. See you in a jiffy. It's, it's Ben on his guitar, so in, I, I kind of not leave him to it. So, what did I think of the three items? Right, the least favourite for me would have to be the crisscross over one. I just find they're very peculiar. Um, the sleeves were really strange. It was like they'd run out of material. <laughs> and I know that's the style, but I didn't realise that they cut it short round here. So, I don't know if you could see on the video... But it, the material kind of came to here and then it kind of went into that point here. So I, I think it was supposed to hang over the hand, but it actually hangs to the side, which I find really weird because when you lift your, your arm up, it kind of all drops down here. Now on a night out, I would find that that would do my head in because it would probably end up like dropping into my glass of cider or summer. So I don't know, I'm not too sure about that. I may get used to it. It may look different when it's been washed and ironed. I don't know. I wasn't a great fan of this. My husband was laughing, saying that you could stick a few things in this pouch part. And I was like, huh? Um, but yeah, it was nice. It did fit nice. All in all, apart from the sleeves, it did fit very nice on the body. Although the material is quite thin. Now I did wear um, my, because I have got a top underneath, I did wear my, like, my body top, my vest top underneath. Oh, I couldn't be bothered taking it off anyway. But I put it underneath anyway. If I was going on a night out, I wouldn't initially put another top underneath that. Unless it was really, really see-through and then I'd probably put a black vest top underneath it. Plus it keeps me a bit warm. So that was that top. That was my least favourite out of the three. The second top, which again had the the back wing, the back sleeves, I actually like that top. That fitted extremely nice. I love how it V cutted into the neckline here. I do like that. You're not showing off too much cleavage, but you get the illusion that you've got a nice cleavage in there. And plus, you can highlight the 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 bone work on your neck when you're wearing such tops like that. I did like that. I really did like that. Um, Plus, I could wear this kind of, of chain with it. Um, yeah, I liked it. I liked it. It covered my backside. I, like I said, I don't like tops that are too short that come like... Like this one that I'm wearing at the minute is, is a slanted like wool kind of jumper. And let me just show you so you can get the idea. So it kind of goes all the way down here and then cuts up. But it still goes past my hips. I don't like tops that sit on the top of my hips. I just don't like it when you've had four children and you want to kind of cover that that waistband. I know I've lost a lot of weight and I it is my sixth week of sur post op surgery, so I am literally, literally I am a free person as from today. Tonight's my last injection, 
but I, I can't work on that area as far as like toning it up until I start physio in January. So if I'm going to go out and wear them tops, I will need to kind of pull in this area. But they were long enough for that, so I'm quite happy about that. Um, number one, the dress. Absolutely love that dress. I just, I'm not a fan of the crispy collar. I'm hoping that that will soften up with a bit of conditioner, a good iron. Um, because you couldn't see, but unless when I turned around, the collar's kind of sticking upwards at the back and I kept pulling it, like pushing it down and then it just kept sticking up. So that irritated me. I loved the, the, the cuffs. I absolutely love that. My husband started laughing. He said, why don't you put my skull cufflinks in there, what you wore for the wedding? And I just were like, no, then <laughs> I'm not going to do that. But I absolutely love the fit of the dress. Again, material is not that thick. But I probably would wear a really dark pair of opaque tights with that. I did keep my leggings on, guys, because it's too cold to take them off. Um, but I would probably wear really dark tights with them. Um, I did like wearing the shoes with that dress. It seemed to complete the outfit. As for the neck, I would probably wear one of my velvet chokers rather than my leather choker. So I probably would put just a small choker because too much with that collar um it would i don't know it would just be very confusing to the eye obviously i can't wear this because it hangs like like this on the collar which is a shame really because um, i want to keep this on forever but um yeah i have got lots and lots and lots of gothic chokers and i mean countless amount of chokers i probably just wear a velvet one with maybe a skull on there or a bat or whatever else i've got there but all in all for the price that i paid for this order i was really really happy with um, I probably will go and order again from Spiral Direct. It won't be any time this year. Maybe next year I will go and have a look what else they've got on there. They do do a lot of plain black clothing. So if you don't like such print like what's on them, um, apart from the crisscross one, you can have the same style of top but in black, like no print at all. I've had dresses that have that have been really nice but I've not liked the print and I've gone ahead and spot the black dress because I like the whole way it hangs and the cut of everything. So guys, I will put a link to Spiral Direct. I will try and link the items that I got because I did do it online. Go and have a look, see what you think and um, put the comments on below. Tell me which was your favourite out of the three. Um, for me, the favourite one out of the three would have to be the top, the second one. But then coming up very, very close would be the dress. And the third one was that crisscross. I wasn't really feeling that. But I'd probably just wear that on a casual day with a pair of black jeggings or... I don't know, a black skater skirt or something. All right, guys, this has been taken up long enough. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you very, very soon. Keep warm and stay safe. Bye for now.